guys, welcome to the YouTube video. We are here in Dublin, Ireland. Morgan's got a little handstand clinic. We've been traveling for now almost two and a half weeks here throughout Europe. Today, we are in Raw Gym. I'm gonna be taking Morgan through uh, my, my workout on the road, which basically is a full body split, really broken down much the way my favorite bodybuilder of all time would train. Who's oh. that? Well, that's what I was gonna ask you. Who would you think my favorite bodybuilder of all time is? I know it's not Arnold. I know it's... I mean, Arnold's up there, but he's not my all time. I think a lot of You've YouTube said it people, to me before. if you guys can answer this before she can right here, let me know in the comments. Wait. This guy's name is actually, his first name is the same as mine. D. Yes. He was born in Montana. Steve. No, Steve Reeves. So he was a big proponent of... That's not who I was thinking. No? How did I... I don't know. Yeah, I had Steve no idea. Steve Reeves was a Hollywood actor, natural bodybuilder. Wait, so we're training like a bodybuilder today? Well, he didn't train like a traditional bodybuilder. How okay. many bodybuilders do you know do full, full body splits? Well, I don't know. Exactly. I don't know the industry. Well, so this is basically Morgan's first bodybuilder workout. No, it's not. I did one like four years ago when I first met you. So well, this is the first time she's ever following my full body training split. Again, one I love doing on the road. I always start full body stuff off with just like any other workout. We're gonna be going through a proper warm up, and then I jump into weak point training first. For me, that's always chest and back. If I'm only training three days a week, and I'm always starting off with chest and back type Where's movements. Where's your strong point? My strong point? Mm -hmm. Legs and arms. Always legs and arms. So one thing I love with full body stuff is you can do a lot of antagonistic muscle groups, so chest and back together. So you ready to run through I'm this? I'm ready. Real quick before I do that, a lot of people have been asking me on Instagram, YouTube, I where- I think I'm gonna get a pair of these. I know, Morgan steals everything I wear. So what happens, I don't have to make decisions when he's making them for me. It's true. These guys I got at the Nike store in Santa Monica. They are a little different than any of the other Metcons I've seen. A lot of people were asking if they were Nike ID'd. They're not, but as you can see, very cool training shoe. I like them a lot more than my Metcon 8s. People were asking me for a, a review. These are actually, they've been my favorite Metcon thus far. So I will be wearing those today when training. But first things first, I'm gonna leave them off as we go through our warm-up routine. Oh, you're an athlete. Married a weapon. Oh, <laughs> a little bit slick there on the turn. Sometimes I forget that you're a weapon, babe. Sometimes I just think you're like just a little Instagram model. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> All right, warm up done. Time to hit go on the Garmin. Today's a little bit of a, we're gonna be focusing mostly on hypertrophy, some strength stuff as well. Right now the goal is to get stronger in certain areas. A lot of hip, lower back, those two kind of go hand in hand for me. So as we train legs today, you know, you'll, that'll, you'll see that more in the middle part of the workout, starting off with a little superset. We're gonna go incline dumbbell key press with a pull-up. We're gonna switch it up between wide, neutral, and then supinated as well. So that'd be a chin up. All right, let's do it. We don't have to have a ton of rest time in between movements. With the key press, heels are nice and flat on the ground. We're keeping that back maintained contact with the pad. And then the biggest thing here is we're gonna stimulate more chest activation in this reverse grip movement. So as we start at the top, we're, we're pronated, as we come down we supinate, and then back up to the top. Eccentric here, we're controlling it, just one second. No pause at the bottom, at the top, one second squeeze, and then back down. Slow it down, one second, up. Because right, we got the gymnast here, we're gonna make sure we're gonna do super strict pull-ups. A little bit wider than, I would say, shoulder width apart, all the way down, all the way up. This is actually gonna be our first set, our first working set. Pulls one of those things I don't really feel like I have to warm up on. Like, especially because we did the bent over inverted row. No, no, come on, we got, we got three more, I'll help. You gotta do your sets. No, let me, let me help you with them. Oh yeah. This thing just, just shy of failure on these. How'd that feel? Good. You had a pretty good strong I never strong really go past five. I always, I need to, but well, I so never I'm really here. go past five for it. So I'm here. It's that important time right now. We gotta, we gotta take off the, the muscle pump. Oh, I didn't realize you had anything underneath it. You're like, what is going on? Let's start getting into it. Sold out from the hotel. We're gonna be doing one of my uh, favorites, just 10, eight, six. I'm saying about an RPE of eight. So that's a 
rate of perceived exertion, RPE. That means I have 10 reps. I'm gonna pick a weight that I could probably do for at least 12 to 13. Pretty good estimation. What you got, babe? 10s. Uh, 10 kg. Yeah. Oh man, you got 22s then? You got 22s! Holy shit. What model is that Gymshark sports bra? <laughs> like it looks so good on you. <laughs> you guys can find that link in my bio. Just kidding, you can't. You can find it in Morgan's. Come on. You're making me weak. How many was that? 10. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff. Sound like Mark Wahlberg. That's what I'm talking about. Say hi to your mother for me. Okay, donkey. Say hi to your mother for me. <laughs> the shit this man talks while training, let alone in day to day life, is ridiculous. All right, second set on pull ups. I'm actually gonna be looking to add a little bit of weight if I can find a belt. Here we go. Yeah. I got eight reps. Uh, the only way we can do neutral in here is by going up to the gymnastics rings. They're just rings, but I'm choosing to call them gymnastics rings. Oh, oh yeah. Seven. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> good one. Baby, you did that last one for me. Good. You did good. You got, a, you got a decent chest pump yet? Morgan's, Morgan's lat spread is pretty damn good. Oh, look at your short little T-Rex are. It's been a long time since I've done that. Going up in weight, decreasing reps. 42.5, that's about 90. I'm gonna go 90 for eight. Down to our last. Set. We got six reps here. We're gonna go supinated though. So most bicep activation we're gonna get out of any of these back exercises. And it should be the easiest, so we'll see. Oh shit. The bar's higher than it looks yeah. in the dark. Come on. Come on. On your own. On your own. Let's go. Up. <laughs> Next up for shoulders. Today's kind of a, a little bit more of a pressing day because we're doing a dumbbell chest exercise. And now a, sh a push press. We're sticking to a more compound pressing today. On this, a warm up, and then three sets of eight reps. First one, probably like an RPE of six out of 10, seven out of 10, and then the last set, eight out of 10. So not going to failure here. We're gonna be supersetting that with just a, uh, a Poliquin raise, which is my favorite, that medial head. Good front rack position, dip. As we dip, we're gonna be exploding, moving the head back. So we are able then to push straight up over our head. Dip. Poliquin raise. Hammer curl basically. Out to the side, straight out and down. Hammer, out, extend, control. Last set, best set. Can you say it for me? Last, last set, best set. Last set, best set. That's like a kink for you. Australian accent saying last set, best set. Last set, best set. ASMR, last set, best set. It's a problem when we both love the camera as much as we do. Last set, best set. Go, go, go. Nice. <laughs> hold on. Take the weight. What is that? Take You're the weight. You're breaststroking. And then hold it out. Yeah. This is my lat spread. It's a really good lat spread, actually. <laughs> well, the camera can't even see you right now. <laughs> That's not nice. Time for the lower body portion. We're gonna be doing a little tricep action for, for lower body. We're gonna be doing pretty much a slow, concentrated on eccentric back squat to a very low position here. I'm doing this where I'm really focusing on quality form, really opening up the hips slow down, and then a speed squat up. I'm pretending like here, I'm trying to jump. Obviously with weight on my back, I'm not gonna be able to get air, but that's the idea. We're gonna be going from this back squat to the GHD little hamstring curl. And then we're gonna be just doing, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a psoas work um, where I'm gonna grab my bands and just kind of get in a plank position and get some knee drive stuff going. Again, just to help out the hip flexors a little bit. So eight reps, Morgan's gonna go a little bit lighter. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna stay pretty light on this. So feet slightly wider than shoulder width. Squeeze the butt. So we're gonna really extend at the hips. This would be hip flexion, hip extension. So we're in hip extension. Really feeling glutes turned on here. Control the movement on the way down. Hamstrings, hamstrings. Curl it back up. One. Nice plank position. 
So you can see everything's kind of stacked from there. We don't want to have the butt come up or drop down. We stay in this position, knee drive up. Just a little bit of accessory work. Oh, that's good, that's good form. Someone's got mobile hips. Man, this one's so low. I've been working on my hip mobility. I still feel a slight It looks so good. Knee. As someone who's done both, what would you say is more important? A deeper squat with good mobility at a lighter weight or a heavier squat with less range of motion? I'm feeling strong in this range of motion. I'd rather be able to do this than be super strong in this. Make sure my glutes are activated. Just give them a little touch, make sure they're tight. Oh, toy like a toyga. Don't fart in my face. One, go, two. Squeeze my finger. There you go, I wish I could fart right now. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm gonna help you up here. Up, oh yeah. <laughs> I wanna assess our children for genetic potential and weaknesses where our combined genetics are going to excel and then where are they going to be really deficient jump into this with me come on with me what? right here no no not like facing me don't be don't make i don't it know weird. what you're doing just just face this way normal we're going to get into this position here so i'm going to stay so in this position elbows out. Yep, but i'm going to do my squats as well and i'm just going to do 25 good frog squats here and see where i'm tied at See where things are pinching at, and then just ultimately try to move. I see what you're doing there. Try to move through full range of motion. So my right knee wants to come in. Your right knee wants to come in? Yeah. This, this one on me. My left leg will drive out. out, but my right knee caves in. Might be a good time to show you guys the tattoo on the quad. Got this in England. My grandma's middle name was Ro Donna Rose. Morgan's middle name is Rose, Rose Morgan Rose. And then I actually have a niece. Little poly rose. Yeah, we're all roses. So, wanted to get a rose, and then as you know, we have kids one day, hopefully, can add little things that symbolize those kiddos. Next up, we got arms. Hit a hit a biceps for me. <laughs> this bicep's better. Yeah, because I do and one then, arms on these arms. And then do side. It's like a side bicep. Any other like girlfriend out there? If I, like it's my wife, obviously. But men out there, if you do this with your wives, they're gonna actually punch your punch your dick off. That's a bit brutal. <laughs> Leave in the comments below where you think our kids are gonna really excel and then really, you know, maybe be deficient at. And then legs, you have really good legs, babe. All right, last but not least, arms. Like I was saying earlier, my arms are probably a, a strength of mine, so I don't hit them with the same, I would say, intensity. Like I can hit them end of the workout. Two, three sets, biceps, three sets, triceps, and then, you know, be good. 10 reps here. So we're on the incline bench. I'm just gonna be using that incline bench. Even though I'm doing a set of th three total sets, I like switching it up for biceps. So here I'm really hitting that long head. Next up, I'll be hitting a concentration curl, like a spider curl over this, and then I'll finish with a hammer curl. But for here, long head, really focusing all the way down, all the way up. We're just gonna go up slightly for the tricep variation. We're gonna be on the same incline bench, but again, instead of sitting down, standing up on it, so we're standing, and then we're doing a skull crusher. Biggest thing is, is this, let those dumbbells kind of drift over their head. Now we have kind of some instability. Now we're all the way down, back to that position. I don't want you coming back here. I want them to beat right above your head. My left tricep is so much weaker. Your left tricep? Yeah. So like someone like Morgan, who comes from a very athletic background, she's gonna have probably more imbalances or could have more imbalances than just your normal everyday gym goer just because she's used to doing movements not for symmetry, she's doing movements for function. Most tennis players have one arm that is way bigger because that's their dominant arm. They're gonna be so much stronger on their right side of their body, they might be more mobile on the other side, but I see a lot of athletes coming into the gym and I would tell them, focus on these types of movements where we're doing, where you have isolateral movements essentially where you're doing each arm individually. Next up, spider curl. So chest leaning over. Keep them there. There you go. You're letting those, you're letting those elbows slide back. Keep them in front of your ow. body. You saying ow because I was moving your arm forward? No. Oh, because it burned. Yes. Yeah, the burn. Shush. 
Shut up. I'm trying to think. Dude, you can't tell your personal trainer to shut up. I, I didn't choose me to be my best friend. Not. Yes, you did when you chose me to be your husband. Come on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in your vows you said, no, will, will I you. I said, I will support will you, golf yeah. addiction. That's it. I think you said, I will also allow you to train me for the rest of my life. Wrong. Wrong. No. Wrong. Our third and last step for biceps is going to be a hammer curl. So I'm going to use the same weights I did with my incline dumbbell school crushers. And we're just going to go hammer curl for 10. You'll notice there's no abs in today's exercises. I do my abs on the off day. So like I said, traveling right now, trying to work out full body three days a week, unless we're working out with somebody else. And then on those days where I'm not doing full body, doing core and running. I wonder why people want to pose every two seconds when they're training arms. Is that how you feel right now? You just want yeah, to... I feel like I should show them. Show them, show them. Where are your thumbs at? There you go. They need to be tucked away? Yeah. When you pose, doing this actually kind of helps get your biceps into the right position. There you go. You don't have to make that face. That's a weird face. Don't make that face. See, your face should be happy. I can't do... Face should be happy. I can't do happy Everything face. else is tensed. Nice. That's good. Honestly, should we be American Gladiators for Halloween? Lift the weight. Can you? Yeah, let's go. Come on. Yes. I pushed them in together to get it up then. That was cheating. I'm tired. That is just your average day on the road. Full body exercises. We've been doing this the last three weeks. I've actually gained weight on the road here since that's a basically full body workout. Again, the next day, big focus mobility. There will be some running and then core. So core, cardio, and mobility. I really wish I could think of something with another word for mobility that started with a C. Uh, core, cardio, and... Core, cardio, and... Crunching. No, uh, no. Curiously close to sex positions. If I can't swear, you can't say that shit. <laughs> he just swore. I just didn't know F-bombs on my channel, that's all. That's fine, I didn't F-bomb, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> you about F-bombed in my face over there, it's farted. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Sorry if that got a little awkward at the end. Poor Christian has to be with us on the road all the time. But um, shout out to Raw Gym here in Ireland. Super cool gym. Basically right now, I have 10 minutes of mobility. Morgan. I don't know what she's doing, but I got my mobility and then we're gonna go get some lunch, but appreciate you guys watching. We're back. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. You guys can always find more content on Morgan's channel. What's your channel we called? Should upload more what's your, yeah, what's your channel called? Morgan Maroney. There's no rose in there? Yeah, there is. Morgan Rose Maroney. Ah. Duh, what's on his leg? Ah, she just hit me on the jump. No, I didn't. Yes, I you got a piece. Just stop. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time.